Alverton, he was the clumsy, clumsiest old loss you ever sat on. Numb, he had a numb mouth, but he was a wonderful racehorse, you know. I mean, he was he was second in Eva, you know. He won the Arkle, won the Goat Cup. What more can you get? I was a big fan of Alverton. You were? Yeah. All right. I was an old. What, what about his Gold Cup success then? Join uh, you again? Yeah. And the other one on the far side, that fell at the last, didn't it? I think we'd have beat him, but you never know, do you? And then he, he won the next year's champ, uh, champion chase. Gold Cup, rather. Yeah, that'd be Ty Cottage. And he got done for some... Uh, disqualified for... Uh, yeah. uh, um, so that was bad system. luck, wasn't it? Yeah. Fell in one year and got done the next. So that was tragic. So it's Tommy Carberry on Tide Cottage from John Joe O'Neill on Alberton. Royal Mail back in third, two fences left to jump in the 1979 Gold Cup. And it's Tide Cottage who's made every yard of the running so far. Written by Tommy Carberry, being chased by John Joe O'Neill on Alberton with Royal Mail third. These are the only ones in it. Alberton's producing a great challenge. It's Tide Cottage from Alberton. And now as they race up towards the final fence in the Gold Cup, Tide Cottage and Alberton. Tide Cottage on the far side, Alberton on the near side. There's very little between them now. Tide Cottage lands in the lead. He's a faller. Tide Cottage is down at the last. Alberton is striding away to win the Gold Cup. Royal Mail has nearly fallen at the last. And Alberton and John Joe O'Neill stride away to win the 1979 Piper Champagne Cheltenham Gold Cup as they come to the line. Alberton wins it. I mean, little Al was used to have been, he was a star, you know, seven year old when he won the World Cup. He was a brilliant jumper, galloped, you know, he's a wonderful racehorse. Beat night of course, in the Gold Cup. What were your thoughts coming into the last that day? They both can't fall. Well, we're going to have the winner. Yeah, that used to be the worst one. Coming down the hill, the fence. They moved it now, and I thought, Christ, they can't both fall, surely. <laughs> and they didn't. <laughs> As they come down towards the second last in the Tote Cheltenham Gold Cup, it's Night Nurse and Silverback and Little Owl. Just in behind them comes Spartan Missile and Jack of Trumps as they race towards the second last. Silverback has come to divide Little Owl and Night Nurse. It's Little Owl on the near side, Silverback on the far side now. Little Owl lands in the lead from Silverback, Night Nurse. Then comes Spartan Missile and Jack of Trumps racing to the final fence now. And it's Little Owl from Silverback and Night Nurse. Little Owl the two length advantage at the last. Little Owl lands in the lead. Silverback and Night Nurse next and racing into the closing stages. It's Little Owl being pressed by Night Nurse. Little Owl and Night Nurse, the two stable companions. Jim Wilson from Alan Brown. Little Owl is holding Night Nurse. Jim Wilson becomes the first amateur to win it since 1947. Little Owl wins the Gold Cup from Night Nurse. They got a very bad virus. I mean a bad one. He started breaking wood vessels. Poor horse he went. Everything went wrong with him. But he was a very, very good horse. In those days, the, the Northern boys, headed by the likes of yourself, so they went down to Cheltenham with, with, with good horses and came back with big races. Absolutely, yeah. We had a good run. I suppose it doesn't last forever, does it? Made to go around. Have you got a favourite overall Cheltenham memory? Would it be, would it be one of Sea Pigeons? No, not really. They're all, they're all good horses. You, you want a good horse to win at Cheltenham. I suppose it's maybe got better. They're giving fortunes for them now. These cost nothing much. <laughs>